which is producing a very good superb message or which will be giving a very superb message so layout is the basic or the primarily concerned with the finishing work or the finished work that is of an advertisement copy so it will give the specification regarding the estimation of that particular cost which is involved for that particular advertisement the work of a copywriter and director is always subject to approval so whatever the work is been done by the copywriter in the ad Hi and a warm welcome to you all dear students. I am George Lime, Commerce Faculty, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Dear students, today I am going to take session 4 for the unit 4, that is of Advertising, Publicity and Event Management. Students, in the last class or in the last session, I was explaining to you about the various aspects related to the advertising layout. So I was telling you what is an advertisement copy as well as what is an advertising layout. So I had explained to you about and I gave the introduction part as well as I had explained to you the meaning and the concepts of advertising layout. Today we shall continue with the same topic and along with that we shall see what are the various other topics we can cover in this particular session as well as such as it may be publicity also we will be covering under this particular topic. So students uh, continuing with this advertising layout it says layout is in advertising is it is an identical uh, category it is an identical category because you can easily identify that particular part with the advertisement copy so with advertisement copy easily you can identify this layout that is in the advertisement now one may not be able to totally isolate so you cannot totally isolate both the copy and the layout in the production of the advertisement campaign so it says you cannot totally isolate or you cannot remove both that is the copy and the layout from the production of advertisement uh, campaigning because these are the both important very important aspects that is the copy advertisement copy and the advertisement layout and it says while copy is the integration of the elements in order to produce a superb message but whereas layout is what it is a physical show or the sketch of the outcome of the copy work so copy is what it is an integration of the copy of elements so it is the integration bringing everything together the messages it may be or it may be uh, whatever the slogans right so all this will be put together and there is an integration you can see an integration in the copy of elements that's the such as which is producing a very good superb message or which will be giving a very superb message for the clients or it may be to the customers at large but whereas if you see the layout is what it is a physical show means physically you are showing it how you are going to give that particular advertisement so it is a showing or the sketch of whatever the copy you have made the advertisement you have made that is through this copy work now this layout primarily concerned with the finished work the, that is the final stage when it has come to the final stage so then it is called as an advertisement copy so layout is the basic or the primarily concerned with the finishing work or the finished work that is of an advertisement copy now for example if you take one product so it will undergo through various process so when it goes through undergo through various process a product so that process we call it as a layout and finally when that particular product which has gone through various what do you call the stages or process finally you get the final product so that particular is nothing but that product we see here is the advertisement copy so it displays the assistic of copy and presents it for the assessment and accessibility so this particular uh, layout it says it will be displaying how the copy has come advertisement copy and it will be presented so that it is very much important before giving it or before passing out that particular advertisement to the customers so they need an assessment to be done on that particular copy as well as the acceptability so it, whether it has been accepted uh, by the marketer or not now coming to the functions of advertising layout students it says uh, there are different functions let us see one by one first it says assembling different parts so the main function of this layout is what to assemble and arrange all the different parts or the elements of an advertisement illustrations so it is a combination you are bringing everything together it is assembling as well as arranging what 
arranging the different parts of that particular uh, advertisement illustrations or the elements which you are going to assemble and arrange it. And it may be the headings, subheadings, slogans, body text and identification mark. So all these things, uh, illustration, headings, subheadings, then slogans, body text, identification mark, all this will be brought together or it will be assembled together and arranged together, right? And the border and other graphic materials which are there in that particular advertisement copy, right? Into a unified presentation. So when you bring everything together, when you assemble all these things, it may be like, as I told you, the headings, the subheadings, then it may be the slogans, then the body structure or the text, as well as identification mark or the trademarks, as well as the border and all the other graphic materials, everything being assembled and it is being brought together in order to make a very good presentation of that particular uh, message or we call the layout or the advertisement. Second, it says opportunity of modification. That is, the layout offers an opportunity. It will give an opportunity to the creative teams. So, for the creative teams, it gives an opportunity so that the agency management and the advertiser to suggest modification before its final approval and actual construction and production begins. So, it says opportunity of modification means this particular layout will give the that is uh, to the teams as well as the agency management that it will give a chance or it will give an uh, what do you call an opportunity if you want to modify it if you want to modify or the structure or the message if you want to change or it may be the pattern or some colors or the shape or design whatever so this will give this advertisement layout will help you out or help that particular team the creative teams which are doing that particular advertisement right so that particular designers so it will be helpful for them so that if you want to change or modify something in that it may as i told you maybe the slogans or maybe the headings or maybe the subheadings right or the texture or the body text anything whatever it is the color shape design so that can be easily done under this particular advertisement layout. so it gives an opportunity for modification to change to do the changes before it is been actually constructed and it should actually produ produced or the production begins then the third important function says specification for cost it means this layout advertisement layout it will provide you the specification what kind of specification that is for estimating the cost so it will give the specification regarding the estimation of that particular cost which is involved for that particular advertisement and it is a guide for engravers then it is also a guide for topographers and other craft workers in order to follow what the in producing that particular advertisement so this will specify it will tell you what are the costs involved in doing all this particular activities that is in that particular layout advertisement layout to bring out a very good advertisement so that will surely guide it will give an estimation the cost estimation for that advertisement as well as it acts as a guide for the engravers who are the designers these are all called nothing but the designers the topographers and all the other craft workers who have to follow in producing that particular advertisement the fourth function says brings together copywriter and art director so very important part because this layout advertisement layout it says bringing together both two important uh, members or we call the two important uh, pillars copywriter and the art director because each advertisement is outcome of contribution of specialist so whichever advertisement you see that is nothing but it is the outcome of the specialist who are the designers we say so these are the people behind that particular advertisement or behind that particular work so the services of a creative persons are very much required so the services or the work which is being done by the specialist or the creative persons are very much important it is required in order to visualize an idea man in order to give an visualization or it may be giving an um, idea I mean that is giving an idea formatting an idea or a copywriter or the art director or it may be the artist or the photographers right uh, type or the settlers block makers and the printer so all these are the important aspects where the services are very much important on part of creating a very good advertisement that is not only a very good it should be attractive one and it should create the attention towards the customers 
So this particular layout, that is advertisement layout, will bring the copywriter as well as the art, di art director together in order to see that the combination of these two along with the other uh, designers and the workers, uh, surely that will give out or you can see there is an outcome for that particular, very good outcome of the advertisement. Next it says guide to the copy specialist. So this advertisement layout will be acting as a guide to the copy specialist because it serves as a reliable guide to specialists such as it may be type settlers, then engravers as I told you, engravers, printers and other craftsmen because these are the persons who actually prepare the advertisement for use in print. So these are the people, which are the people that is the type settlers, then engravers, printers and other craftsmen. They are the people who are very much important and actually they are the persons one who are going to prepare the advertisement that is for use in the print media or which has been brought in order to make it in the print or to get it printed out. So that is why advertisement layout. So it will act as a guide to the copy specialist. Students now after seeing this the functions of advertisement layout let us move on to the next part that is designing of a layout for advertisements how we are going to design so the designing work we say so design process serves as both a creative work as well as an approval process so this particular designing it will be serving or it will be serving or it is the process which will act as the creative as well as the approval approval process now this particular uh, that is in a creative phase if you see the designer will be using uh, thumbnails, uh, roughs, uh, then dummies and also comprehensives. In other words, we can say about this is non-final art to establish the ad look and the feel. So if you want to see an advertisement, then that particular design should be very much attractive. Now that should include what that is the final non-final art as well as the establishment of ad look as well as the feel. So when you see that advertisement, you should be very much happy and you should be attracted towards it and you should feel that yes, I need this particular product, right? Or I should go for this particular service or, or I need to get this service. So in such a way, it, the designing should be done. So that is what it says. This designing is a process where it serves both the creative as well as the approval process. Now the final illustration of this particular advertisement with the actual type in place along with all the other visuals that is the printer will need to be uh, reproduce the ad and finally it says the approval process takes place throughout the entire advertising design or the process. Now what is this thumbnail sketch? This is also the part of the advertising. So we will see thumbnail sketch. Thumbnail sketch is also a, a design work. So or a thumbnail is a small rough rapidly produced drawing artist uses to visualize the layout and approaches without wasting time on details. So this particular thumbnail sketch, it says, or we call it as thumbnail. It is nothing but it is a very small in size. It is also very rough and rapidly it will be producing what the drawing artist, which uses is visualization layout in order to bring out, to come out with various approaches without wasting the time on that particular details. So that's what it say in thumbnail. So at the fingertip, you say, so that is what it is. Next is rough layout. In this rough layout, the artist draws the actual size of the art. So here under rough layout, so the artist or the designer, they will be drawing the actual size of that particular advertisement. Okay. So advertisement that is the headlines and sub edits, the headlines and the sub edits. They will be suggesting the final type style as well as the illustrations and photographs that are sketched in the advertisement and the body copy which is stimulated with the lines. So all these are nothing but it is how the advertisement copy is been made or the design. The agency may present rough to the clients particularly cost conscious ones. Third is comprehensive. So it is a layout which has been generated generally located with quite elaborate so very much elaborated one with elaborate with colored photos. So under this comprehensive one, you can see the layout will be generally quite bigger one, elaborated one, where with the colored photos of that particular ads will be there. And this stage, it says all the visuals should be final. So when it comes to this comprehensive stage, all the visuals, it should be the final one. It should be the last, it should be the last stage for the 
advertisement. Then dummy. Dummy it says the artist or the designer they will be assembling the dummy by hand that is using color makers. Now how they are going to uh, assemble this dummy? So they will assemble dummy by hand that is using the color markers, computer proofs, mounting them on a study paper and then cutting them and folding them to size. So this is all nothing but the actual work of the designer how he does in each and every stages or each and every step of that particular advertisement. A dummy for the brooch for example it says is put together. So if you take a dummy for a broucher, so for a broucher, example we can see is been put together, he is bring, bringing everything together, put together page by page okay and to look exactly like of the finished product. So he brings everything together in order to show that it is, it will be like this how it comes when the final product comes out or final ad comes out. So that is known as the dummy. Next is mechanical one or we say paste up. Now the type and the visuals of the advertisement layout must be placed into their exact position for reproduction by printer. Then approval, the work of a copywriter and director is always subject to approval. So whatever the work is been done by the copywriter in the ad as well as the art director that will be surely come for a, a process where we call it as the approval process. Only when it is approved then only you can give the advertisement. So the biggest challenge in the approval is keeping approvals from the corrupting and the style of the ad. So how you are going to come out with this or what is the greatest challenge you face under this particular approval process? It says the biggest challenge in approval is keeping the approvers from corrupting the style of the advertising. So a creative office of the designer that produces advertisement layout is known as layout designer. Layout designer is a person where we call he will be the creative officer or the creative designer and he will be producing the advertisement layout. That person we call him as the layout designer. Now this layout designer is a visualizer. So he will be having the a lot of knowledge and creativity and he will be visualizer of the entire copy output. So the total entire copy output will be visualized by this particular uh, layout designer and yields project concept is how the copy would appear before the target audience. So what will be the main importance or the projects of his concepts? His concepts projects is nothing but he wants to see how that particular copy that is would appear that is in front of the audience right target audience and he usually experienced this person is a experienced person that is the layout designer is an experienced person and is also a professional in the job in that particular field right and often is a creative and also an artistic personality that is why this kind of advertisement a very beautiful advertisement will come out because of all this people who are working behind that particular advertisement. Now students coming to the importance of layout it says it enables the advertiser to see the in advance before printing what exact pictures of the advertisement would be like. So when you make this layout, the main importance is why you are making this layout is in order to see that the advertiser who was giving this advertisement or making this advertisement, he will be able to see in advance before it is coming to the actual picture, he can come to know what is the uh, exact picture of that particular advertisement. Then it gives the printer a guide on what to do. So this particular layout surely will help the printer and it will act as a guide to the printer on what to do. Then it provides to the printer in advance. So this particular layout it will surely uh, provide the printer in advance that is the picture of the complete work and how it will look like when printed. So once everything all the work is finished of that particular advertisement copy or the advertisement then this will provide that is the layout will provide the printer in advance itself that totally if after completion of the work how an advertisement will be looking like right then it eliminates arguments and misunderstandings so this particular layout advertisement layout surely it will eliminate or clear out all the misunderstanding confusions and the arguments between the advertiser and the printer in the areas of marginal notations so this advertisement layout it gives a very concrete proposal means a very strong old proposal to the agency in order to make the bold representation. So why it is giving a very good concrete proposal because in order to see that 
to make that particular advertisement uh, a very good presentation or a bold presentation towards the client or to the client. Now it gives the advertiser or the client an opportunity. This advertisement uh, layout surely it says it gives the advertiser one who is giving the advertisement or the client that is the person one who sees an advertisement an opportunity. It gives an opportunity to examine, to test what the agency submitted for an approval. So surely this layout will give the advertiser or the client to examine whatever the design he has given which has been submitted in order for the getting approval of that particular layout or the design. So a carefully prepared layout makes the task of decision making easier. So when carefully when you are making this particular layout surely that will help you out and makes it the task of decision makers very easy. So when you do everything perfectly uh, with utmost care automatically the decision making uh, will be a easier task it is undertaken for a wide range of purpose like promoting new products increasing sales of existing products also then it is also aimed at highlighting employees achievements companies civic activities pollution control research and development success financial program performance its progress or any other missionary activities or social contribution now coming to the next definition part now this is about publicity. So what is a publicity? A publicity which has been defined by William G. Stanton it says any promotional communication regarding an organization. Pro publicity means any promotional communication regarding to an organization or its products where the message is not paid for by the organization benefiting from it. So this is publicity is what it is a non paid there is no person is involved in this publicity. Publicity is totally free of hand or it is where non-personal activity where it is just through the word mouth of recommendation it is being done. And Philip Cotter says non-personal stimulation of demand for the product or service. So publicity is what it is a non-personal stimulation that means no person is involved in this creation of a publicity for that particular product to create a demand for the particular product or a service or it may be the business unit or by placing the commercial significance importance news about that particular product in the public medium or it may be getting or obtaining a favorable representation that is upon it may be TVs or on the radios right or it may be on the stage which is not being paid by any of the sponsor right. So that's what it says the publicity is undertaken uh, for a wide range of purposes like promoting a new products. This publicity is very much important and it has been undertaken in order to promote the new products, increase the sales of the existing products. So all these are nothing but is very important part of the publicity. And it says it is also aimed at highlighting employees achievements in order to see that uh, highlight the employees achievements as well as the company's civic amenities we say or activities. Uh, then it is also important for uh, pollution control steps then pub publicity is also important for research and development as well as the success of that then for the financial performance as well as its progress or any other missionary activities or social contribution. Now coming to the actual characteristics of this particular publicity first let us understand it says meaning publicity is not paid form as I told you it for the mass communication which has been involved getting favorable responses from the buyers as well as by placing a commercial significant news about that particular product or a service in the mass media and this particular publicity it involves obtaining as I told you so you can get a favorable presentation and about publicity in the radios newspapers televisions and etc and that particular stage is not been paid by the sponsor. Second is it is a non paid form. The second characteristic says it is a non paid form why because no one is paying for this particular kind of communication or the publicity there is no sponsor there is no marketer so it is just on its own by the word mouth of recommendation as I told you this publicity will be going on right. So it is a non paid no one is going to pay for this form of communication and it is not directly paid by any of the producer or the manufacturer or the marketer right but however it says it involves various indirect costs this publicity or non paid communication and it is not being sponsored by the uh, promoter or by any of the manufacturer or a producer but still it says it is having an indirect cost it will have an indirect cost example if you see the firm needs some amount of arranging future uh, function 
So the firm needs some amount for arranging function, calling press conference, inviting outstanding personalities, decorating of the stage and other related costs. So if you want to arrange some function, then there will be some indirect costs involved. Which are those indirect costs? Such as I told you like calling the press conference, right? Again, there is some cost involved. Inviting outstanding personalities or it may be such as the big, big businessman or it may be the VIPs or VVIPs, right? And then or any other uh, kind of uh, in any field, it may be in the uh, literature field or it may be in the uh, dramatic field like that or it may be in the sports activities, then decorating of the stage and other related costs. All this will be the indirect cost which will be involved even though this publicity is uh, not a, a sponsored one or by the marketer. Then thirdly it says various media. Now how this publicity will be carried out? How it will be promoted? Publicity we can see carried out through newspapers, magazines, radios or televisions. And example you can see here, in case of a product, it has been launched by any of the popular personalities, right? As well as in a grand function. So if any product, new product has been launched, then that particular product will be, uh, what do you say, it will be inaugurated by one of the big, big personalities through a grand function. And the mass media like newspapers, advertisement, radio, magazines, etc. surely will publicize this particular event. So when big personalities of VIPs is inaugurating something, for example, a bust of uh, some uh, great personality or a freedom fighter. So it has been opened or it has been inaugurated in one of the biggest circles of that particular city. Then the VIPs all will be there and they will be inaugurating it. Automatically, the press people all will be there and it may be print media through press media. It is uh, whatever you say, like uh, through them, you are going to surely they are going to cover that particular function. The coverage will be there for that particular function and, and that will be telecasted or it will be put in the newspapers or in the articles or it will be spread through various other means of communication or medias. The next one is objectives. Now sales promotion is undertaken for a wide variety of purposes. You know that. So sales promotion is done in order to promote the pro product or variety of products and they may include different kinds of promotion of new products the pollution control, special achievements of employees, publishing new policies, increase in sales. All these are nothing but it is the main important objectives of publicity. Its main primarily concerned with publishing, publishing or highlighting the company's activities. So this totally, the publicity is totally is meant for that to give or to publish or to get the publicity and getting the highlighting or showing the highlights of that particular company's activities as well as its products. Now this is a targeted in order to build a company's image. Now why this particular publicity is been undertaken in order to uh, create an image on the minds of the customers or well, the public. So in a longer run it can contribute to the increased sales. So this publicity surely it will help the businessman in order to see that they will get sales in the future. The next characteristic says control of producer. So company has no control as I told in the beginning the any company will not have any control over the publicity in terms of the messages because they are not going to give any message or they are not going to pay for it right. So message, time, frequency, information and medium. So the company has no control because it is totally out of control of the particular what you call the producer or the manufacturer or the marketer. So this publicity it comes through the mass media like newspapers as I told in the radios or in the televisions etc and it is given independently by the third party no as I told you no one is involved here no actual person is involved in that particular uh, publicity but from the third party that will be given and it will be publicized and it is presented as a news rather than propaganda so this publicity it will be like a news item and it is not a propaganda. And publicity has a high degree of credibility, reliability because it says it comes from the mass media. So when it comes from the mass media, surely it is having a high degree of credibility. It has a credit as well as it is a reliability. You can rely on it because we can say that yes, it is true because no one, no medias will simply give a false messages or the news right about that particular event. So you can rely on it and it comes from where? From the mass media independently. So no one is forcing, forcing them or telling them to do that. So it is given as a news for social interest. 
Why this publicity has to be given? Because it has been given in order to see that it is to create the news as a social event or in the social interest. And it has more social significance compared to other means of market promotion. So this publicity is totally, we can say, it has having a lot of social activities or it is involved in social activities or it is having an importance on the uh, society. That is why this kind of news will be publicized. The seventh one says part of public relation. Publicity is part of public relation because it says the very broad public relations efforts and activities. And this public relations includes improving, establishing, maintaining the direct relations with all the public at large in the society. And publicity can surely help the public relations through this, through their activities. And also it says cost. Publicity can be done at much lower cost. You can do it at a much lower cost than the advertising. So advertising will be requiring lot of cost, huge cost is involved. But whereas publicity you can do it at a very low cost, in a low manner. And company needs to spend a little amount to get the event or the function publicized. So here you just need to spend a little amount to, in order to get your company's uh, event or the function which you are making at a very low uh, scale, right? That is at a low cost. You can make this publicity of your uh, company's events. Then it says effect. The publicity effect. The publicity message is more likely to be read viewed, heard, right? And also it has been reacted by the audience or the public at large. And surely it says it has a very high degree. It has a high degree of reliability, believability. That is reliability. Believability means everyone believes it in the society because no one will give you a false message or the false uh, news, right? Because that particular event has taken place and due to that, they are giving that particular news. So it is it has high degree of Believability, that is reliability, you can rely on that particular news which has been given by the third party. And next is repetition. Uh, frequency of or repetition of publicity in the mass media totally depends upon its social significance or the values which has been created for the news. And mostly it appears only once. So only once we can see it will not be repeated in nature. So only once this particular kind of news or the publicity will be given by the uh, medias. Then I told you about the functions of layout in that assembling different parts. Secondly, it says opportunity of modification. Third is specification of cost. Fourth brings copywriter together and the art director. Then we have guide to copy specialist. Then the design process serves as a uh, what do you call creative as well as the approval process. Then the designing how it takes place thumbnail sketch we have rough layout. Then comprehensive demi mechanical paste up, mechanical or paste up, then approval. All these are the various important aspects related to designing. Now coming to the next one, it says about the designer, layout designer, this officer or the creative officer or the person was doing it, we call him as a layout designer and he is a main person, one who is visualizing about that particular layout or the entire copy of the output and he projects the concept of how that particular advertisement will come at the end when we see it. Then the importance, then publicity here we can see what is publicity, what are the definitions given by publicity, right? The, the, by different persons that is William G. Stanton and Philip Kotler. So William G. Stanton says uh, publicity is at any promotional communication which is regarded an organization or its products where the message is not being paid for or by the organization benefiting by him or by it. Then Philip Kotler, non-personal stimulation of demand for the product or service or business unit by placing a commercially significant news about its public medium or obtaining favorable presentation of its upon radio, television or any other form. So as I told you the meaning of publicity, it is a not paid form, then it is not a not pay, paid form, then various medias, so these are characteristics, then objectives, control of producers, part of public relation, cost, effect, reputation. So the students, these are the various aspects which I have covered to you today's topic. So it is important on part of publicity mainly. Now publicity, they can ask you for 5 marks or 10 marks. So what is publicity and you can just write a note on publicity, write a note on publicity. Then you have to write all these points, right, and explain it. So it can be asked for 5 marks. We have come to the end of this particular session. See you in the next session. Until then, take care. Have a nice day. Thank you students.